Hello people, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will going to discuss about how to estimate number of layer for any PCB stack up. So uh, to estimate number of layer, we will use two methods. The method one is using pin density method and the method two is the improvisation of PCB layout. So uh, in this video, firstly, I'll uh, uh, discuss what are these method and how we can apply this method. Then uh, I will give you a demo um, on our very famous STM32 controller. Uh, so there I'll use that bomb and uh, I'll show you how we how we'll get uh, the number of layer from the bomb, right? But before going further, here I just wanna show you guys how you guys can order your first $0 PCB from nextpcb.com and how you can apply $5 coupon. So click over the first link given in the description, register yourself with your official mail ID. If you guys have already registered, just click over the login and fill your mail ID and password. And there are just after the registration, you'll, give, uh, you'll get a $5 coupon, right? Now I will show you how you can order your $0 PCB 10 number of quantities go to the home fill all the dimensions of your pcb select the quantity to 10 go to the court now and here fill all the information select the first option with zero dollar select your country and select the local china post mail and then you can sell you can able to select either you want to order assembly or not add your GABA files and here you'll see this screen for GABA verification after that you'll get mail from the sales team and here you can see the $5 coupon you have applied and you can order your 10 number of PCBs just $11. So guys just proceed the payment and now we can continue our tutorial. So let's discuss the first method which is pin density. So the definition of pin density is the quantity of pins on a printed circuit board per unit area. So as you can see we will use this formula to calculate pin density. So the step one of this method is calculate the board area using the tips number 37. So as I, uh, I have given link in the description, you can simply go to that link and calculate the area of your PCB. Then we'll calculate the total number of pins on the board. So uh, the total number of pins like the, uh, the quantity of component and the number of pins on that component, we'll mul multiply that and we'll get the total number of pins on for that component simply we'll do for uh, every uh, component we use on, in our board the step 3 is calculate the pin density from the definition and then use lookup table so we will use this lookup table to see like suppose pin density is greater than 1 that means the number of signal layers are 2 and multi layer pcb number is 2 right so that means the total number of uh, layers on the pcb will be 2 right Similarly, if it is between 0.6 to 1, then the number of layers will be 4 and the number of signal layers will be 2. So as you can see, we'll follow this table. So it, it can work up to like more than 40 number of layers, right? Now the method 2 is the improvisation during the layout. So this is the simplest method that uh, any designer use if he don't know the pin density method. So uh, using that method, we'll simply start the layout using the top and bottom layer then we'll feel like uh, our layout our layout will be kind of packed then we'll increase the power planes uh, power plane and ground plane on the stack up right then again we'll start the layout and if we'll find difficulty again we'll increase the number of layers right so i'm just giving here the example so if we increase the uh, number of layer from two to four the layer stack up will be like this signal layer ground plane power plane and signal layer right so uh, i mean the second method is quite uh, simple and it is clear to you now i'm going to demonstrate the first method so let's open the bomb so in the bomb i've already calculated number of pins for the component so you can see it is ca cap 0805 this is a simple capacitor ceramic capacitor which has two number of pins so i multiplied uh, the number of pins with quantity and the total number of pins for this capacitor 0.1 microfarad is 14. Similarly, I've calculated for each component and the total number of pins will be 164. And using the tips number 37, I have uh, estimated the maximum area, which is 2.24 uh, inch square and the pin density will be 73.2. Now we'll go to the lookup table. So here you can see 
our pin density is greater than one and the number of layers will be two right so i mean we all know that like uh, if you are watching my videos regu regularly you can see i have used two number of layers for the stm board so guys if the, if you if you found this uh, video very helpful for you then you can simply like and subscribe the channel thank you